Hello guys, welcome to another video of Team Fight Tactics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build Set 8's toughest bench in a very easy way. Sorry, in the simplest way possible. Just follow the game's few basic rules and secret tips. So, without further delay, let's get started. Now let's talk about the bench we're going to build. It is the real threat bench. Now we all know that the threat bench includes champions from tier 3 to 5. A lot of questions came up from this bench like how do you find champions in the early game? Or I was defeated before I could finish. So what is the solution for this? Can I get them? And can we win the game? The answer is yes. We'll show you a secret trick to help you build all types of benches. The four pillars of this strategy are an aggressive economic game plan, greedy economic game plan, patience, and gambling. Let me explain aggressive economy and greedy economy. Aggressive economy. It focuses on achieving early power surges and winning streaks, punishing greedy opponents, and establishing an advantage in the late game. Greedy economy. This gives you more overall gold at the cost of early game, early access to higher tier units, and more reroll chances. Speaking of the real threat bench, there are 8 champions in total. 3 champions from tier 3, Cho'Gath, Ramus, and Vel'Koz. 3 champions from tier 4, Aurelian Soul, Belveth, and Zac. 2 champions from tier 5, Fiddlesticks and Urgot. And we all know that there are limited copies of champions in the game and there is a chance to increase them by leveling up. If you want a tier 3 to 4 champion bench, then you should be on level 7 with a lot of gold to buy the next champion and reroll. However, before reaching level 7, you must become a survivor. You should use combinations that allow you to win streaks without spending a lot of gold. You can use the Duelist Bench, Ox Force Bench, or Anima Squad Bench. It's totally up to you. Since I'm using a mixed bench for my early game, it includes 3 Gadgetine, 2 Ox Force, Mascots, and 2 Duelists. So, I'm going to make a solid bench for a winning streak in the beginning and use it until the end of the third round. Start with Duelists and Mascots. That would be a good start if you want to save gold and HP as well. We need a bench to lean on for the next two rounds. So when you get to level 5, remove the mascots to convert benches to Gadgetines, Ox Force and Duelists. I chose Gadgetine because of the unbreakable poppy and the complete item they offer. Time to play some items. Kyle with Warmog's armor. Flora with Gargoyle Stoneplate. Infinity Edge for Zoe. First remember to use some gold to build a destructive bench in the early game. Therefore, you can earn more gold through winning streaks. After reaching level 6. We look forward to welcoming Yumi again. Because we didn't get the augmentation we needed for the real threat bench. First, I chose the heart of the mascot. Then Axion Arc 2 gives my unit 30 mana for every kill. This is the second third of a game where I don't need to play aggressively, so it's the perfect bench to conserve gold and build a winning streak. The chances of getting a tier 3 champion at level 6 are pretty decent. So we won't be buying XP to maximize team size, but we'll focus more on rerolling to make our tier 3 threat champion stronger. Now, you need to understand the right time to switch benches slowly, as random changes can cause very serious losses. So, if you make 2 star copies of at least 3 threat champions, you can remove the gadgetines or combinations in use, one by one. And then again continue with the rerolling process. Now, the last and most important part of the strategy. Patience and gambling. One thing to keep in mind when rolling a level 7. Buy both level 4 and level 3 champions, then trade them. Doing so will increase your chances of having a tier 4 threat champion on your bench, as I said this game has limited copies of champions. Now you need to use threat champions and remove other comps to make room on the bench. So for me, Gadgetine would be an obvious choice not to go with. And finally the third augment. Elastic Slingshot. This gives me a Zack and sort of a hacker ability where I can throw champions into the opponent's backline and stun them for plus 3 seconds. I want avoid mother, but. We can't control the augmentation. And with this trick, you can fully upgrade 3 threat champions. However, the placement and selection of items plays an important role in your victory. We will put Jeweled Gauntlet and Gargoyle Stone Plate on Ramus. Dragon Claw, Gargoyle Stone Plate, Infinity Edge. On Cho'Gath. Static Shiv on Vel'Koz. Warmog's Armor, Dragon Claw on Zack. And on Fiddlestick, you can put whatever you want on it. So, keep practicing gambling tricks because it will lead you to victory.
most accurate weather. I will use you well. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and leave your valuable suggestions in the comments section below. Follow us on social too for more updates. Link is in the description. See you in another video, thank you for watching. Thank you.